What's up everybody? It's Big Brew 2 here and today I got you some more Bird Steel. Now today again it's Mission Editor Battle. But today I've got the TA 152H1, which was a German experimental aircraft which really never reached never got into combat in World War II. So yeah, because you know, by that time, by the time it was being manufactured, the Russians were already swarming Berlin and it didn't and it was just not many of them were produced. So, yeah, it's... And I've been flying this plane recently, and oh my gosh, it's awesome. And today we're putting this baby to the ultimate challenge. We're taking on the British Tempest Mark, 4, Mark 5. It has four cannons, and there's 25 of them versus 18 of these T-152s, which have three cannons. And, it, yeah, so let's get going. Yeah, the TA-152 the TA is basically a Focke Wolf 190, but with a different, but it's, but in a second you'll notice a huge difference in the model of the plane. It was pretty much, it, w it was pretty much a Focke Wolf 190, but, as you can see right here, the wingspan was like, doubled. This thing has an enormous wingspan. So, I'm pretty sure this was, yeah, this was a head-to-head -head combat mission, so, let's get going. This is on the Siege of Malta. That's the map. It's a pretty cool map. So yeah, this thing is pretty is pretty responsive and it flies awesome. It's an awesome plane. It's I think it's good as a ground attack aircraft. It's good it's a good fighter bomber, basically. So yeah, guys, so I've leveled up in Birds of Steel, so that and that pretty much allowed me to unlock this plane because I leveled up. So yeah, this it's pretty awesome flying this plane. I've come to like it a lot. Just can't wait to get my hands on the German jets and the British and all the other level 20 planes. And that's the British Tempest. I'm also wanting to fly that plane as well. So yeah, this is, this is probably this is gonna be a good challenge for the T T A one fifty two. Going up against a he probably the probably the probably the you know the best British fighter. This British fighter the Tempest had was is very is very armed and armored. So hopefully with my flying skills <laughs> I'll be able to do good. The rest of the rest of my guy my dudes. They following a squadron. Nope. I wanna go straight into it. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Let the battle begin. I'm also gonna be assisted by the ground by my own ground buddies on the aircraft. Got one. That's two oh gosh! Okay, well it has been like five seconds I've already lost the plane. <laughs> wow. That happens way too much to me. Come here, you. That's right, you ain't escaping from me, bro. You ain't getting away from me, bro. Okay, maybe he will get away from me. Nope! Ah! Come here. Plus, the TA-152's cannons just sound awesome. I love the sound of these cannons. They sound like just so threatening, like you don't want to face these things. Listen to that sound. Another one. Wow, these Tempests aren't doing anything to me. I'm like killing half, I've already killed like most of them. Come on, improve that aim. Come on. God, I can't. I can barely see that target, that um, lead and target thing. It's like it just mixes in with the ground, but now I can see it. There we go. Got it. And I know I'm being followed by somebody, but whatever. He has. He's pretty bad shot. Got another one. Get 
if you look at how awesome this plane's performing, you probably would, it would've been so. If this thing was like mass produced in World War II, it'd been really great threat for the P-51 Mustang and all the other good, all the other planes we had because of its cannons. It had three cannons. I'm still not sure what this what doubling the wingspan did for this plane. Maybe to reduce drag or something. I don't know. I'm running well on cannon ammo very quickly. Cause I can't lead a shot. There he is. Oh my gosh! Don't overshoot him. Wow! I almost got it. There goes another one. Oh, he's on fire. What am I? Why am I targeting him? Oh, there's a guy that's been following me for the past like five minutes. So guys, I hope y'all have been having an awesome summer. Cause I surely have been playing video games and going places and uh, trying to ha and uh, talking to my my friends and all that. It's been a good summer, but sadly the summer is not is coming to a close. And then comes school and, and yeah, life continues like it should. So yeah, but don't drown on school. It'll, for you got it'll. Because you know it's easier than going to work. We'll have to do one day. Got him. Eight more to go. Ah, crap! I am so almost out of cannon, cannon ammo. Ah! Got him. Oh, that was a good hit. Burst into flames. Oh, snap, bro. I'm on fire. Well, they're literally on fire. Stay, ain't your day, truckers. Oh, I hit him. He's on. He's smoking. Oh, uh, send him down. You guys don't even deserve to be in the skies against mine awesome flying skills, which I've built up over about a year of playing this game. That's another one. Four more to go, and I'm almost out of cannon ammo. I'm like really down about it right now. Four shots. Oh, that last shot blew him up. That's nice. That's really nice. That's awesome. It's called me a boss. Yeah, the can whenever you in the cannon recharge time, it takes forever. Like it's tw it's thirty five seconds I think for the cannon ammo to recharge and refill. Or refill I mean, not recharge, kind of stupid. Uh what what am I at? Nine seconds? That should be enough to line up a shot. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. You're gone. Boom. And this thing, and the cans on this thing um, hold 440 shots, which is a lot, so don't waste it. But, you know, it goes by quickly, so don't waste your ammo. Try not to at least. One more, and he's the last one, and sooner or later my guys are going to be just swarming this guy. So here we go. Let's see if we can take him down. Quick and easy. I said quick and easy. Up. Oh, you're gone. Mission accomplished. That's nice. So yeah, the ten. Yeah, yeah. The TA-152 is an awesome fighter. You guys, all of you who are t level 20s or level 17s or above level 16 should know that because you guys... And if you have tried this plane out, please try it out. This plane is awesome. And just, and just to end this episode, I'm going to conclude with an epic landing of, that's not going to involve crashing or destroying my prop. 
Look at all that smoke. All those are tempests. And wow, I lost a lot of people. Let's see. Four guys. I've lost four planes. Okay. Well, there's our there, there's our there's as well. Alright. I'm coming in at seven over seven hundred miles an hour. That's not good. Let's slow down. Look at this, and also the camo on this plane is so is cool. It's red and brown, I think. Partial colorblind. Yes, I am. We'll customize this thing and put put some on it, make it look cool. And it's a good landing. Boom. Check that out. Landing like a boss, man. Alright, so th thank you all so much for watching. And uh, if, you like the video, if you like this video, please leave a like. And uh, subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. And uh, as always, I will see you in the next video. Peace. I'm out.